So tension is important to you and your process because you need web tension to properly unwind your roles into your process. You need proper web tension to uh, process your materials without defect and to rewind your materials properly. The web handling principle requires traction with rollers in order for it to be applied to your web. And what I mean by the web handling principle, web handling principle states that a web will seek a 90 degree angle to a roll in its entry span to that roll. So anywhere in your process, as your web is traveling through your machine, it, it will always try to maintain that 90 degree angle to rollers in the machine. That's why webs are tracked, and that's, that's often how webs are tracked through a machine. However, the web handling principle does not apply if you, if you lose traction with these rollers. If the web literally slides around the circumference, instead of being in traction with the rollers, um, you can then um, get some uh, web tracking issues. They may, the webs may slide from side to side, and the web handling principle does not apply. So it's important to control web tension on your web, uh, just to uh, uh, just to have the web handling principle principle apply in your process. Web guiding systems won't work if the web is not uh, under proper tension as uh, it flows through a web guide. The web guide systems work using the web handling principle to move a web where it's supposed to be as it flows through a machine. And if, if the web slides on the rollers within a web guiding system, again, uh, that web guiding system will be ineffective and may even cause you more trouble than it helps. Um, a lot of wrinkle removal systems like bowed rolls uh, rely on web tension and traction in order to take uh, wrinkles out of, your, out of your web. And all webs stretch in the machine direction it doesn't matter whether you're dealing with um, a half mil polyethylene film or if you're dealing with uh, a thick paper, all webs do have some stretch in machine direction. So that stretch needs to be controlled and you control that with uh, proper web tension. Here's an effect, here's a, just a very simple effect of web stretching. Uh, you may, let's say you're doing some kind of printing on your web and you go through a, a set of drive rolls and let's say you add tension in this area of the web, you could literally distort the printing or, or whatever process you're doing to your web if you don't properly control tension. Also, uh, if you don't have proper tension, you can get uh, telescoping and dished rolls and uh, wrinkling and, and web breaks. So you can really cause a lot of uh, web defects when tension is not properly controlled. This is an example of a dish roll. When I talk about dish rolls, a lot of times if, and this happens at a rewind, as you're building a roll, um, it'll start out okay at the core, and then you'll see it start to walk one direction. And as you continue to rewind, you'll see it walk the opposite direction. So when we talk about dish rolls, we, that's the, the defect we're referring to on a rewind. And telescoping is similar, except you may start you start out your rewind at a, at a good position at the core, and then as you're winding, that, that roll literally moves, or the, the web moves to one side as it's being wound up, and that's, a, that's telescoping. Um, tension control is important whenever you're doing registration, whether you're uh, reg registering print to print, or if you're uh, uh, print to, uh, that, that's a typographical error, it's not pint to die, it's actually print to die. Um, if that, if your tension isn't uh, properly controlled, that uh, registration can be difficult or impossible. Um, web curl and laminating happens a lot of times when tension control is not proper. Uh, here's a very simple example of a laminating operation, you're basically taking a I call it web A and, and web B, but you're, you're taking one web and you're sticking it to another web. And so you're laminating those two webs together. And what will happen is if you have, if you're improperly controlling tension in one of these webs or even in both of these webs, you can get web curl. And in that situation, basically what happens is after you uh, laminate the material and let's say you, you cut a section of the material out, if the tension was, uh, too great in, um, in, in that previous example where, where um, web A is, is, is greater, much greater than web B, when you cut that section out of the material, 
Web A is going to try to shrink back down to its natural state or, or spring back to its natural state, and that can cause web curl. Uh, and you'll see this, in, again, after you laminate and you, um, let's say, take a section of your material out. And you can get the opposite effect if, you're, if, if, the, if the web tension in, 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 um, in web B is too great, again, it's going to try to shrink back to its natural length and in the, in the machine direction, and it'll cause that curl that you see. Uh, slip positioning, um, a lot of times if you need very accurate slip positioning um, within a, a slitting operation, you, you must control tension properly. Um, again, all webs stretch in, in the machine direction as they flow through a machine, and every time you enter a different process, usually you're adding or subtracting tension depending on the process, and that, if you don't properly control that, you can cause a lot of web wrinkles in your process just due to, due, due to improper web tension control.